Welcome to another video on Life Gun Cigar. I'm going to do a full detail strip of the Glock. This is a Glock 19. I did show in a previous video a quick field strip. Uh, this is going to be a more detailed strip of the entire weapon. So if you wanted to clean every single nook and cranny or change parts on it, modify it if you will, you can then do it after this. So. Get the magazine already out. We're gonna make sure we have a safe pistol. Nothing in the chamber. Lock back. Now pulling with it, pointing in a safe direction, we can pull the trigger. And then we can go through our basic disassembly for the slide and frame. So let's start with the frame first. And I have it on the paper towel just so it's a little easier to see what's going on. So we're going to take the three pins out. There's one in the rear here in the grip, uh, one in the top middle, and one right above the trigger in the middle of the weapon. Those are the only three pins in here that you need to take out to disassemble the Glock. Now, the tool I'm using is the Glock tool, but you could use any pin punch of the same diameter to do the job. So we're going to start from the back and move forward and down, taking the three pins out and making careful we don't lose them. Also, the pins are different depending on where they are. So there's three different sizes. You can probably distinctly see that there's different lengths and widths. So you remember where they go, although the largest one only goes in the one spot. So once you have it to this point, first thing we're going to do uh, to make life easier, if you're going to do a full strip of the firearm, is to pull out the locking block. So you can just pry it up a little bit. and then pull that out. Now once we have that, it's going to be much easier to take out the rest. So we're going to take out the slide stop lever, which we will just simply be able to pull up and out. And at that point, you'll be able to very easily pull the trigger and the trigger bar and such out of the firearm. We'll go into breaking this down in just a second. Put that aside. And from that point, if you want to take out these little grippies, which, hold, which are what you use to take down the firearm, you're going to then press down on this little silver tab here. And in doing so, you're going to loosen, you can see it just falls out, the pressure on that piece. At that point, it's just a matter of the magazine. In the magazine release, it can be taken out by moving the pin. If you can see, there's a pin in here. You'll have to slide that into the notch. Get a little extra light. All right. So if you do such, I've already loosened it. So once you got it out of the way, that's going to be the hardest part of the entire process. You can then take the magazine out. The magazine release. Sorry, out. All right. That piece of wire will actually stay in the weapon. I do not suggest under any circumstances that you remove that or take anything else out. Uh, this would not be a good idea to try to remove. These two pieces on the front and the back stay with the firearm. They are molded into it. Do not try to remove them. So that's everything broken down and now you can easily get to any part of the firearm that you want. So now it's just a plastic shell. Now for disassembly of the trigger system, 
again I wouldn't worry about this part any further it's just plastic I wouldn't mess with it I never have on mine and I don't see any issues with it if you want to take part this group right here the easiest way to do that and it's a little bit of a pain but let's say you wanted to change this part here or you wanted to change the spring which is back in here push down and twist and it'll come apart a bit you can then take it off of the spring just by feeding it through the loop and so now that's down to just the trigger itself and this large trigger bar and then you can take this spring off or replace it if you so desired and you can then take this off this small trigger bar which is actually what controls to a large extent all those springs do also both this one and the one on the firing pin that we'll get to later in a different video further breaking things down this can also come out and what you're going to do is you're just going to pry it up don't bend it but just pull it out now if you're having trouble doing so I keep my gun pretty clean so it's not very difficult but if you're having trouble doing that and pulling it out from there you can actually punch it through that hole and that will push the back part of this out at the same time all right, so you could see how that would would do that. Okay, now it's in. So you would just put your your Glock tool or such and just push it through to give you some purchase on it. So that would be taking down the entire receiver and all the parts in thereof. I'm going to after I do this do another video and we're going to break down the magazine and we're going to break down the slide and then we'll put it all back together. So thank you for watching. That's your overall disassembly. And we'll start over with the next part.